Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at question eight from the 2018 Survey Mass exam from the NHT. Um, this is part of the um, financial recursion mass. So in this one, we've got um, Richard will join a on a holiday. Um, he's going to sell his, sell his stereo to help pay for it. He originally purchased it for eight and a half grand. Okay, and he's going to sell it at a depreciated value. So that eight and a half grand is represented by S0, so that's your starting term. And then you're going to use this recursion relation there to work out um, <clears throat> what it is after four years. So basically it's going to be S4, and how you'd represent it, it would be S3 minus 867. And I'll show you how to do that in the calculator right now. And so what I've put in here is what you can get on your calculator. So you'd start off with your, um, your V0 term. That would be your V0. And then you do it once, and that would give you your V1. And then you'd get your V2. And remember, you can just be pressing enter when you do this, V3. And so your V4 is your fourth term. So you could actually um, just work it quickly out like that using um, that recursion relation there. And so S4 would be equal to um, $5,032. Okay, let's look at the second part of this question. It's asking to calculate the annual percentage flat rate of depreciation for this depreciation method. Now remember, this, oops, this is D, and this is your initial term. And remember your formula is that D equals, in this case, I'm just going to write it V0 because that's probably what you're used to. And that's equivalent to V0. D equals V0 R over 100. Okay. So we can rearrange that equation. So we get it in terms of R. So R will equal to um, D times 100 divided by V0. And when you do that, you're going to get 867 divided by eight and a half thousand times that by 100 and you'll get a, an answer of 10.2 percent now can you put could you put this into your calculator and solve for r yes you could and i'd suggest doing that because that's an easy way to do it okay so now we're looking at question b it says richard could also use a reducing balance depreciation model with an annual depreciation rate of eight percent Using this method, what is the value of the stereo system um, four years after it was purchased? Now, in this case, it's not asking for recursion, so I don't need to show recursion. So the formula I'm going to use in this case is going to be V0. Um, sorry. It's going to be um, Vn equals V0 R to the power of N. Okay? Now, let's keep in mind that R is equal to, in this case, 1 minus 8 over 100. So that would be 0 0.92. Now, how you put this in calculator is up to you. I'd probably suggest you do something along the lines of this. So we've got our um, V0, or in this case, S0. I should have probably written S0 here. 8,500 times. Now, I can put this directly in my calculator like this. 8 over 100, or you could just write this part as 0.92, up to you, to the power of 4, and that will give you an answer of 6,089.34 cents. Okay, so that's how you would calculate um, the, the value of the system after four years using this re reducing balance um, model. Okay. Now, question C, four years after it was purchased, he sold his stereo system for four and a half grand. So remember, this would be your VN. Assuming um, a, a reducing balance depreciation method would you use, what annual percentage rate of depreciation did this, depreciation dis, did this represent? So remember, in this case, you're gonna have, again, similar to what we had before, I'm gonna have VN equals V0 RN. So if I expand that out, I'm gonna put a VN again here, I'm gonna V0 um, times 1 plus, uh, not plus, minus R over 100 N. So, in the case like this, and remember, 
one decimal place is an answer, I would be using solve. So let's have a look um, as to how that looks like on the calculator. So on your calculator, put solve, put the bracket around, put four and a half thousand equals as all it's shown there. You're going to put R at this point here, and you're going to put comma R, and what you'll get is these two answers. So um, in this case, you're going to pick, it doesn't make sense, it's going to be 185 um, percent as a percentage rate. So in this case, you're going to select R is this one here. So in this case, our R is going to be R equals, oh, I'm just going to move this down so I can run it, R equals 14.7%. Remember, it was one decimal place. Okay. All right. And that is it for question eight.